Oh boy. Oh, that's cool. There was a door here and there's still like a little cutout. Okay, nothing chasing me, so I can take in the atmosphere. Ah, <gasps> oh, these scenes are so cool. Oh, I don't even know what that is. I thought it was wire, but it looks more like roots, but it's also kind of moving and undulating. So fucking cool. It's not safe. Hope that kid doesn't die too. <laughs> Ceiling water isn't exactly a new thing. I mean, I've seen it many times, but it's still really cool. Oh, that's a chandelier. What are these growths? I guess that's what those vine things are coming from. Oh, hey, it's covering up a picture of the clock tower. Is that a different picture of the clock tower, though? This one is, like, completely, like, most of the way covered by trees and branches and roots and stuff. Maybe that's always how the picture's been and I just didn't notice. picture of those monsters. That's a new one, I think. Seen that picture of the dolls a bunch of times, but not the other monsters. Damn it, I'm not going to hurt you. I see a huge foot? Was that the monster that we've been hearing growling and doing all that stuff? Where did the kid go? I think I think I heard a door. Maybe they got through that door before the foot came down. This might be a time to switch to my shotgun, right, but I gotta drop this axe to use it. I'll do that only if I need to. Wait! I'm trying to help you! Oh! Ah! Ow! That's the person that killed the kid, isn't it? I wasn't sure if they were the same character, but yeah, makes sense how they would be. Just... I thought... <laughs> For some reason, I thought they were like eight feet tall or something, but... 
They're definitely tall, but they're not like actually a literal giant. Is there blood all over my light? Look at that. Let me heal. Yeah, oh, that's cool. You get blood splatters on your light. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, my light doesn't work anymore. Maybe I should have closed the door. Ah! Okay, I'm sort of limping. I should probably take a med kit, huh? There we go. Oh! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Is this one ever gonna go? doesn't even go out all the way. I think I'll be fine, right? Yeah. Oh. 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 I feel like there's gonna be a boss fight with- Oh, maybe it's happening right now. I think so. Now is shotgun time. Here we go. Oh. Maybe not, actually. Oh yeah, hurt your own people. Thank you for opening up a spot for me. How many mechas do I have left? Probably like one or two. Not too good. Two. Okay, that's not terrible. That's the little girl that we've been chasing. Wait. Medkit? Yes. Hmm, these paintings are significant, aren't they? We're gonna have some turny painting things? What the fuck am I hearing? I wish I could look. Hmm. 
So this floor took us to what the painting showed, which was the same as where we just were. Okay, so we got a bit of a maze. Yeah, we can't turn this painting or anything. Same painting. But I hear something horrible behind here. But it's just going to take us back to this hallway, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got to look for a painting that looks different. Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, follow the- follow the light. Yeah, number two stairs. Okay, so that tells me that I'm progressing. Follow the light. I wonder if you get reset all the way back to the beginning, or just like the current stage, if you get it wrong. Outside's getting redder. Two humanoid figures? Maybe? Sort of upside down, with their heads kind of bending towards the stage. Yeah, it's a viewing platform for a theater. This also looks like a plausible battle arena. We're gonna finally face the monster. Oh my god, there's pulsating flesh coming through there. Hmm. Maybe some other time. Actually, I feel like I feel like if I go on the main stage, it's gonna activate something. So let's go here first. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. There's a tiny hole in the middle. You see that? Yeah, there's a rip, and I can see stuff through it. Hmm. Oh, I think I should use UV. There's a little bit illuminated there. Damn it, I just accidentally used a medkit. So innocent. Deep inside. Oh, candles. Is that a pair of kids' pants? Hmm. Jesus. And it broke. There's another one. There's another L. Uh, fuck. Get away from me. There's a chair. Not in here. In here. Stunned him for a second. Oh, they're up. Oh, fuck. I can't get them up there unless I maybe shoot them with a shotgun. Fuck that. Oh, I'm doing really poorly. I think I used all my med kits. Oh, shit. Inventory doesn't pause. Right. Can you not kill these? I thought you could. I 
Maybe you can kill those. I thought you could, and then they got rid of them temporarily. Uh, hmm. Right, so that stage didn't do anything. I might die here. I'm floundering around. I don't think I have any medkits. Oh, I just used one. I did. I just kind of wasted it, didn't I? Alright. Shotgun time. Unfortunately, I can't finish them off. Hopefully they'll stay down for a while. What do I need to do? So I got blue candles. I probably need to put them somewhere. Look at all this, like, black, inky blood. Well, now's a good time to check... Check my medkits? Yes, I have none. Now's a good time to reload my shotgun ammo. We've seen this picture before. That's new. It's just kind of zoomed in on the picture before. Sort of. They're in a little bit of a different place. Next to a gramophone. Looks like this texture didn't load properly. Chandelier control. Oh, I probably pulled down the chandelier, put the blue candles on that, and then put it back up or something? Yes, a medkit. Oh, hi. <laughs> we get a free gift. Definitely using a shotgun on you. Don't think there'd be any point in. Pulling back the curtain probably doesn't even work, or... Oh, no, it does. Is that good? Hmm. Silver trophy, lockdown. Hold on, look at their body. Yeah, something's wrong with the texture loading. Their texture didn't properly load in either. Uh, there we go. Guns don't break, do they? It'd be pretty absurd if they did. I mean, guns have, you know, in real life they have durability like anything, but... You're gonna get a lot of shots off before it just falls apart. Let's reload. Just to check, there isn't a faster way to go through the inventory, is there? You can't wrap around from the left to the right. You just gotta scroll all the way through. Oh, that's cool. I thought I'd have to do each one individually, but it just activates a cutscene. Okay. Um, probably should use my lighter on them, right? Oh. Right, this doesn't do anything. I need to open inventory. There we go. All 
Okay. Probably gotta lift it back up. What exactly is on the stage? What did I reveal? Looks like a net. Hmm. It's like a very weird... Um, stylized version of a prison shower, maybe? It looks like they're wearing a prison uniform. I don't know if I want to go there. Uh, okay. Oh, that's the person we killed in the showers. Hmm. I... I don't like this. I want to put the chandelier up and see what happens and then come back to that. Ooh. Yeah, revealed a bunch of symbols. Okay, so maybe that's like a password I need at the end of that maze thing down there. <laughs> Thump. That... Are they wearing a gas mask -y thing? Yeah, that's the monster. <laughs> I had to try it. Do I want to ring some bells? Sure. Oh, hey, this is just a recreation of the shower room, isn't it? I feel like all the drains in the floor. Ah, there's a symbol attached to him. I see. Uh,. What's the symbol on this one? Oh, the fire symbol. Okay, so we gotta start with the triangle. Yep, so it's triangle. Triangle. Circle thing. Fire symbol. I love those distorted, otherworldly bell sounds. And then, triangle for the final one. Oh. Uh, hmm. You wanna open? No? Is that blood? Is it filling up anymore? Ah! Oh, and these are bulkheads and there's like water rushing or like splurting from underneath as if it's a boat that's filled up or something or a submarine. feeling in this room. And that music. The wailing. Okay, there's a person in the wheelchair. Who the hell is it? I mean, he can't be Charlie. Charlie's dead. Right? Hey, get away from her! Ah! Oh. I don't know what that thing in the wheelchair was, but it was 
undulating and moving all around, and it, it was definitely humanoid, but it didn't look like a human, really. <laughs> Wake up in the morgue. Oh, hi. Right. Where? They wanted to bring me down here to look at the Why body. Are you doing this to me? Thank you for coming to shepherd your son home, Mr. Pendleton. I know it's difficult. Wait a sec. Are the subtitles off? I thought I'd turn them on. There we go. Sorry about that. Have they been off the entire time I've been recording? I guess so. Yeah, sorry about that. I never noticed. Dear child. With all due respect, I don't think you do. And like I already told you, there's been a mistake. I buried my son years ago. I understand, Mr. Pendleton. We all deal with grief in our own way. Shall we? You'll just sign for your son's body. You can take him home. No! This isn't my son! This thing's a monster, a murderer! Yes, well, I suppose that runs in the family. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you know, child? Have you wandered so far off the path to not even realize who you are? What the hell are you talking about? So often the answers are before us, Murphy. If only we allow ourselves to see them. Why are you doing this to me? There were those who dwelt in darkness and in the shadow of death. Prisoners in misery and chains. Because they had rebelled against the word of God. The Lord in their I screwed up, he saved but I didn't them. see any other he way. Them out of darkness you don't know what it was them. like to know it was my fault he was gone. Every you time I God shut my eyes, I saw Charlie's the face Lord and all I could think was, that monster is still alive, but I'll never get to Amen. see my boy again. Why are you doing this to me? What do you want? What I did to Napier didn't solve anything. Charlie was still gone, and I was stuck in prison. Everything spiraled out of control. It was my fault. I just want... I just want my life back. Revenge is a long, treacherous road, isn't it, Mr. Pendleton? Where do you suppose it ends? It's yours, if you want it. You only need to claim him as your own. Here's the boss fight, isn't it? Oh, no. This game's really fucking good. It's really good. Only need to claim him as your own. It's like... I mean, what is... What were they trying to say about us? Our son is a monster? I mean, is that person we've been reading about in all the files? 
Are they our son? No, I mean... The files... The files talked about them having poor social skills and... And not improving and stuff like that, but it didn't say anything about them being violent. So even if the person in the files was our son, that doesn't suggest that that monster is our son. And I mean, how could they be? Our kid was... Like, we saw the flashback to... Charlie um, being pulled out of the water. And it looked like they were tied in like a bag or something like that. Obviously, they had been dumped there by the murderer, Napier. They were small. They were a kid. They couldn't have grown up. And the nun, I think they are? They said, like, being a murderer is runs in the family. I guess they're talking about our son? They think our son's a monster, runs in the family because we killed Napier? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. So where are we? Do we show up on the map now? Nope. Oh, okay, now we fight you. Well, uh, I mean, I think I'll just use the shotgun, thanks. Oh, what are you doing? Wait a second. I can. Oh, 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 hold on. I can use a thing? Did I use it? Yeah! One of those two people that kept flashing between Napier? Was that the monster? That would make sense. Who's the other person's face who was switching to? I think it might have been Murphy's? I mean, what was I trying to say? Murphy, Murphy's a monster too? Did Murphy do, like, what happened after, when everything went out of control after killing Napier? Because killing Napier definitely does not make them a monster. Killing the person who sexually assaulted and murdered their son? No, that's fine. But I get the feeling maybe other stuff happened after that, perhaps while having to repay the favor to, I forgot that shitty guard's name, but the guard that helped him kill Napier. Oh, boat key, that's what that is. Okay. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.